Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How's it going? What's up? Sag, it's time to do your March 2023 bonus love reading for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this video. We're going to take a peek at the later half of March and take a peek as the sun and the new moon go into Aries season and pull a little bit for you and them, see whether you've been, where you're going to, and what's going on right now while you decided to hang out with moi. Hi there. Um, let's see, we got a lot of stuff going on between the new moon happening in Aries. Well, the sun goes into Aries. Happy New Year, Sagittarius. Then you've got a lot of focus as I was pulling astrology for you. I could not narrow it down to one or two houses. Your first, seventh, and tenth house placements are all being dominantly affected by this. So you're focusing a lot on yourself, you're focusing on your relationships, and you're focusing on your career or you know how you are in the public eye. So I see you doing a lot of work on yourself across the board and putting an end to a lot of the cycles that you've got. You know, this is the one that you go for and everything. When we hit to an energetical new year and we enter into a fire sign out of, or coming out of a water sign, this happens three times a year. You know how this goes when we go from Cancer to Leo, then Scorpio to you, and then we go from Pisces to Aries. So you know how we go from the, the water sign to the fire sign. So we're going to take a peek using the Sagittarian Influence Taught deck here for you for some base cards. Then we will pull up my brand new Titanic Tarot deck, which I, pause, which I freaking love the artwork on this. And I have studied the Titanic for nearly 30 years. I literally have files on all the passengers and things about how the ship was built. So I get a lot of very interesting stories off of that deck. So we're going to use it for the clarifiers and we'll see how many cards we need to pull to get her done. Now that I got this deck back in business, we will also, as a little bonus at the end for you, Sagittarius, take a peek with the Penumbra deck at what you have manifested or are working on manifesting underneath the new moon in Aries. Neon moon, Casey Musgrave style, not Brooks and Dunn. Or Brooks and Dunn if you want. Or both. Put them both in your playlist. I don't care. I just like Casey's version. Okay? So let's do it to it. I'm going to start off with the taught deck here and we'll go for it because you've got your big focus right now is going to be Saturn more than anything. I know Pluto, that's a big dominating thing happening too. But in your case, Saturn is going to be the bigger influence in what it's doing for you. So you'll want to definitely look into that because it's taking stock of the past cycle it's been through since about 2008 and then focusing into 2018 as Chiron was going through Aries. Again, another Aries connection to the time that we're dealing with right now. As Saturn is passing through your fourth house on top of the 1710 connection you got going on, this is really getting deep, getting way back. You might even be going back to your childhood, back to what you were doing in 2018, thinking about how 2008 was, even maybe deeper back. You want to go a little Neil deGrasse Acha son and a little Michael Isaac Newton son on you? We can, go, we can go past life regression if you want. We'll see where it goes while I hang out and inhabit this vessel for the next 20 minutes or so. So, all right, for Sagittarius and the one on their mind, with Saturn moving into Pisces, that's you dreaming about the future more than reflecting on the past, right? So the Capricorn, as, as after coming out of Capricorn, now rewind, Aquarius and into Pisces, that influence is not causing you to reflect anymore. That cycle's ending. Now it's dreaming about the future. It's like you've looked enough into the, the past and you're done reflecting onto that. You'd like to have this brand new blank page to work as an art project. All right, let's do it to it for Sagittarius and their person, the one on their mind when they decided to come and hang out here, which I appreciate you for doing, Sagittarius. If you would like, love that like button, share and subscribe to all the fun stuff that's located down here, just a little bit to the south and the west of me, I would totally appreciate you forever. Set that bell to all notifications because I do go live every Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces with two bonus readings for the soulmate and the twin flame energies check-in. You can go anywhere else and get 12 readings, but you got to come to Archer for 14. Yeah. That's your card, temperance. Okay, yeah, temperance. All right, that means we're ready. Let's go. I've rambled on long, eat enough. Much like Mars spending the past seven months in Gemini and now going into Cancer. Let's get a little cardinal energy on. Shall we? We shall. Let's go. Happy New Year, Sag. Let's do it. For Sag and the one on their mind, the energy at the bottom of the deck is the Prince of Cups. So a love offer that was a little not quite balanced and on point, not King of Cupsy, but a little more mm, smaller. That's what you're thinking about. Your future, you're thinking about a smaller love offer. Let's just start simple. Let's take it from here and see where we go. Okay, but we got to start in the past. We got to go back to where you started. Okay, that log cabin in, in Illinois, Abraham. Old Honest Abe starts off with the moon. Pisces energy, and we are talking about the new moon in Aries going on right now. However, we might want to bring up the hermit, the Virgo energy here of the full moon in Virgo. I see something 
that has been a catalyst or a starting point underneath this moon cycle. Perhaps you and this person you're thinking about are on opposing or mirroring sides of the moon cycles. And it's a very slow progression, something that you didn't think was happening or wasn't going to happen. This would be one of you guys happy during the full moon while the other was miserable and then spin flip it during the new moon cycle. So there's a lot of energy. See how we've got wavelengths like transmissions going along here from the past? This was something that you've reflected on that's taken a long time. And, and this was something that came in like much like a full moon energy versus a new moon energy. You know, like when your grandma used to tell you, Sag, that like, uh, oh man, must be a full moon. Remember, is that a little weird right now? They're all oatmeal north of the eyebrows, that, uh, that kind of energy. So, you know, this is something that when it was good, it was really good, Sagittarius. It made you happy. You felt comfortable. You felt safe. It was like a wish. But then when it was bad, you didn't want to think about it. It was something that left an impression. It made a mark. It did something to you. And it did something that didn't too. This was something that's not an easy one to remember. Um, it's something that made an impact on both of you guys. Whether you were triggered or not in the beginning, you wound up being triggered with the chariot, Cancerian energy, Princess of Wands, Cancer Leo energy a little bit, and the Five of Wands, showing the struggle, the strife, and the competition that you guys are in at the moment right now. This was something that when it was really good, it was foot on the gas, you're never going to crash. You loved it. You guys felt together. You felt good. It, they made you smile. You were bubbly a little bit. And it was something you weren't used to. You were thinking like, oh, wow, maybe this is it. Maybe this time it's right person, right time. I'm unsure. Y you started focusing on this fourth house energy, which is what is coming back around right now. Saturn is affecting your fourth house. This is that deep reflection back into the childhood to take what you wanted from it and get a little deeper to manifest and start painting that new art. It's been a struggle and this is something that's been going on for a minute, for a while, that goes deeper back. Normally I try to stay a little more local and relevant in my readings, but you, Sagittarius, being the ever-seeking knowledge seeker, whom I love because you are so knowledgeable, has asked me to go a little deeper. So we'll go a little further out for this forecast, shall we? Because this was something that you guys have both been through and struggling with this energy to come through. And that moon cycle thing would connect because as you know, in most readings, the moon is tied to Cancer as well as Pisces. That's because when the water signs showed up to pick their cards and spirit went in order and said cardinal signs first, Cancer being dominated by the moon knew not to grab that card. And they said, nope, screw it. I'm taking the car and I'm leaving. They ran like Oprah style. Then Scorpio got to go next and they walked up and said, well, wait, I want what Cancer had. I want the car. Fine. I'll just take death and try to manifest a new car. And they left. And then Pisces looked up and said, well, whatever. I go last anyways. I have to wait and hear all the other 11 signs issues beforehand. So I'll just take what's left. I'll take the freaking moon. But this shows that slow progression of trying to turn it around and almost like getting the moon's energy to work for you. It's like an eight of swords interference as opposed to having it affect you. You're trying to push it out this time. And you guys both have this. You're one wand away from a six of wands victory. Leo energy, five of wands. Shows a competition between you guys that when the competition was good, it was fun. You guys liked it. It was kind of like wanting to friendly compete and one up one each other. Kind of like a John Lennon, Paul McCartney thing where one had to write this song. So the other one wrote this song because it was just a little different, a little better. John would write Strawberry Fields. Paul would write Penny Lane. That sort of a thing. So this was something that didn't want to move forward. But when it did, it was all right. And what you didn't want to walk away from this, but you felt like you had to Virgo mode, you shut down, you closed up and you were like, at that point, we got to stop and go from somewhere else. You felt too overwhelmed, felt like you were being forced, like it was a fantasy land that wasn't existing because everything that came in was always backwards or wrong or it's much like how the Lotus is upside down instead of right side up. And you're like, oh, it's so close, so close. Princes of Swords. And it kept you in your head with the seven of wands. You've come to a point as the first, seventh, and tenth houses affect you and how you're seen by the public and your career focuses versus your relationships and what you want to bring in from the past and how you want to create to the future is what manifests into your first house placement. And even though we've just been through it a few months ago during your sun sign season, this is the cycles that comes back around because we're in that energetical new year right now. Yeah. So we got the two of pentacles underneath it, which I'm going to pull almost like just a bonus card for clarifiers. See how you're balanced in this one? This is a two of pentacles. It's not the will they, won't they? Where do I want to do? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. This is more of like I'm balanced, I'm stable, and this is something that's going to go the distance to get you to that ten of pentacles, ten years plus type of thing, solid and stable. And it's a cycle that you guys have been through before. Because you see that serpent with the crown? This shows a divine intervention, divine union, a divine couple, and a life cycle that, much like I said in the beginning, that we can go deeper than your childhood. If you want to go past lives, let's do it. Because you are at that point with the energies to start focusing on like family, home, and coming to that point, especially depending on where you are in your current life cycle. You have, as they mentioned, the 27 Club. That's like the first big point where you hit a solar return or a Saturn return or a return of some kind. 
Unfortunately, pop culture has stuck a negative stereotype to the 27 Club. It's actually a point of leveling up. If you have bad karma, it goes one way. If you have good karma, it goes one way. These cycles repeat themselves, and once again, you hit a point at about 33 years old, which is an ascended past number, past master's year, and then another big one hits at 40. You know, like John Lennon said, life begins at 40, so I guess I'm doing fine. That's a cute little song. But so let's pull a little bit of clarifiers. I want to start out with the past with that moon card, Pisces energy. See where that goes. I appreciate you for being here, Sag. You know you guys are the bestest. All right, let's check this out. So knowledgeable. Give me some clarifiers on the moon, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then straight up Virgilicious. All right, let's see. Clarifiers for Sagittarius. Whoa. Okay, this one is meant to be because it hopped. The Three of Cups, happiness. You are manifesting underneath these moon cycles a happiness to come in based on your past experiences because you know what you want and you're ready to receive it. And you are one of the most stable signs in the deck, no matter what kind of a reputation Sagittarius tries to get. You are tried, tested, true, proceeding slowly with caution, thinking about the past before you proceed in the future to make sure you get it right. This is the U.S. Postal Service card right here because you know what? It ain't Amazon Prime, but it arrives right. You know what I mean? It takes a minute to get there, but the Knight of Pentacles, neither rain, sleet, nor snow, nor et cetera, and so forth, will stop him from getting that Ace of Pentacles delivered where it needs to go. That brings in this Two of Pentacles that I pulled for you. Yeah, Page of Cups to the Fool. So yeah, your past energy actually matches up to the Prince of Cups. The decks are already starting to sink, and I forgot to mention this is the Empress energy. You leveling up to a point of receiving everything that the Empress can be. A lot of fixed energy off of that one as well, showing your stability, and receiving these gifts and messages from Spirit, and check it out. Moon cycles with this moon card to the fool, to the hermit, right? There's Aries and there's Virgo. This shows something very big that has transitioned and triggered an awakening in the both of you, you and your person. Something happened recently between full moon and Virgo, new moon and Aries, that brought something to a head that triggered a connection in the two of you, seven of cups. Something that felt like it was taking too long. Either Sagittarius or, their, or the cross watch or one of y'all's taking too long. You're taking too long. And these options felt like, see how she's kind of like trying to figure it out? It's almost like you're looking back on all these things, all, everything that happened, good or bad. Both y'all are, because I see a mirroring energy coming out of this anyways, and a lot of major arcana that shows that you guys have come to a point of, you know, trying to make a decision, but taking a while to make it with this page of cups energy. Something small is getting ready to start in Aries season, and you need to pay attention to that. Listen to dreams with this Pisces energy. Listen to your intuition. Trust your gut. Those voices you hear in your head, there's always there for a reason. Songs in that. Everything means something, Sag. Focus onto it. All right. So give me clarifiers on some current energy with this chariot, Cancer energy, Prince of Wands, a little Cancer Leo, Leo, and a little Virgo. Wait, oh, Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, maybe you're a Sag Cap Cusper. Page of Wands to the Sun to the Two of Wands, to Judgment. Ooh, nice. Okay, so yeah, did I not mention in the Seven of Cups about taking too long? And that's kind of what you're feeling. This here, as it comes back around, that fourth house influence that Saturn goes through, shows this, this Cancerian chariot energy of trying to focus on what you want and knowing how to proceed with it. Like William Murdoch here, who's the Page of Cups in the, or Page of Wands, rewind, your energy, Sagittarius. He didn't say much, but when he said it, he had a freaking message to say like this could be dealing with a Cancerian or somebody who just, when they open their mouth, they make a point with it. When he said full speed astern, hard as starboard, um, if they didn't react, it could have gotten, it could have gotten worse, but also could have gotten better. There's the interesting spin flip to it. Cause yeah, the Titanic might've rammed into the iceberg head on. However, that would have only ruptured two of its compartments at the bow. And it actually had a collision break inside the bow that was designed to take a head on impact, sun energy. It could have been a totally different outcome. The Titanic would have sunk lowly by the head. It would have settled and stabilized itself using the ballast tanks, and it would have very slowly been able to limp into port. It would have made it into Nova Scotia for emergency repairs. The first class passengers would have been a little ticked off that they showed up later, had to take a train into New York, but it would have got there, right? In an energy of happiness coming in underneath this unusual Cancer Leo Cusper connection that brings in a happiness that you didn't think was possible, but it was something you dreamed of. Because you notice on this sun card here, that it's not really the Titanic. It's a beautiful scene there with those people on the promenade deck enjoying the sun. However, that's not the Titanic. It's one funnel, not four. There's one lifeboat, not 20. And it's basically a Norman Rockwell depiction for like promotional artwork from 1911, but it's, it's okay, it's close enough. So it's something that you didn't think would happen, but the time is right for it to happen. With this two of wands, almost free will, you think you've made a choice going forward, come to a fork in the road, and spirit does that one little oomph 
like, yeah, free will. Spirit's like, oh yeah, I didn't know you were going to do that. Free will. And that's when the judgment gets cast to move forward with the Two of Pentacles balance and change coming in. I told you you were thinking that this has all been taking too long with this judgment because that's Fifth Officer Low returning in the lifeboat after the Titanic had sank, trying to see if anybody was still alive and survived. This was scene was accurate in the movie where he took too long and all the victims had already gone. So, but then if you want to go back into this one funnel Titanic dreamy energy and think about it, in the movie, they found Rose. That choice that Officer Lowe made to go back was so balanced and stable that he saved one person. He healed one life. He saved Rose that night. In reality, they did recover a Chinaman from a door, um, but they turned that into Rose for the movie. It's cool. It's okay. It's Hollywood. Empress energy. You're receiving those messages. So let's take a look at a future outcome for this here for Sagittarius because I'm digging it. Actually, I want a couple more clarifiers real quick to clarify onto this. Give me some more on the Five of Wands and the struggle that Sagittarius is feeling right now. Give me clarifiers onto the Five of Wands to the, actually I want to pull Five of Wands to the Two of Wands to the Two of Pentacles. So the 2-2 two -two connection I'm seeing, that could be a number or synchronization. And I see that that is what was making me stop and not want to go forward on the on the cards. I was picking up an intuitive download on that. So check out 2-2 two -two and synchronizations that goes with the 22 and the number. Yeah, 10 of Wands, that's showing you the point of completion to the Emperor and 8 of Wands walking away from the past to walk towards the new future that you are manifesting and creating. I asked for a little clarifiers and I got it. You've been tested recently and you've passed that test to proceed forward. You have put away everything that you didn't want to take, grabbed only what you needed to survive, and you're coming forward with a notebook fit for a king. Maybe you take notes or write messages. I see something to that effect. Because Thomas Andrews, the emperor in the Titanic neck, was not the one that was got it his way, loudmouth, et cetera, and so forth. This guy, the Titanic was his baby. He held the whole world in his hands on board that ship. He kept notes of coat hooks and changes to be made to the future ship that was coming so it would be better than the Titanic. This man was meticulous, very into everything that was what he wanted, very Ten of Wands style. And much like how he used the Olympics design to make the Titanic better, like the upper A deck promenade being enclosed, the Olympic did not sink. It was the Titanic, okay? And <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys, the Earth is probably very much round because if the Earth was flat, a cat would have knocked everything off of it by now. But anyways, tinfoil head out. Meanwhile, back at your reading. You got an emperor or ten of wands that you have passed the test of the past to come forward and take what you want. You can grab the past things from the Olympic that were wonderful, that made it great, and you can add those to the Titanic to make it better. It's same ship, same church, different pew, new A-deck and closed promenade. Nice, like it. They also had those in-deck, uh, the private parlor suites too that like Jack and Rose stayed in. Those weren't on the Olympic either. But then, he, then you're manifesting going, okay, now once we got this good, let's make it even better. Like how, much, how much more can we go? You're getting deeper into it and you're making the Britannic better. Thomas Andrews had the idea of putting a pipe organ in the uh, Britannic. Titanic Olympic didn't have that to have a little music. So you've leveled up and you have positivity coming your way from this because you're walking towards something new with there's that six of wands and justice. Scorpio Libra energy showing up for your victory. Caitlin Petty showed, is Caitlin Petty a Sagittarius? She will not tell me her sign because she knows I'll run a chart on her. You know, she gives me nothing to go on. But anyways, this is her standing on stage after doing her eight original songs and just taking the bow, taking in the limelight and enjoy it. Captain Rostron's getting his trophy from Molly Brown after the everybody came back and the uh, survivors docked. She actually did that for him as a thank you and a reward for him for what he did to rescue the survivors that night. And with that eight of cups, you're getting to walk away from that energy and bring in exactly what you want. You're manifesting. You're in a power of emperor to empress energy with this divine union coming in. You guys are both leveling up and seeing, uh, I, I see twin, I see connection. Something between this connection that just rocked everything to its core for the both of you, triggered an awakening in the two of you that is bringing in a connection or union. Definitely twins or soulmates might tie into this. We're still not ready yet. Grab back the tote deck because we need to see where we're going with this. Because you've gone from some craziness and asking for happiness even back then to bringing it in and making that choice that, okay, it's time to go. New me in 23. And it is indeed 2023 numerologically breaks down to a seven, which is the chariot in tarot. This is the year of the chariot. This is the year for Cancerians to level up, to embrace Cancerian placements. You might have some and, and take it from there, focusing on family, on house, on home. Put on the gas, never going to crash. Sorry, Caitlin, I rewrote that lyric. It's okay. Anyways, let's take a look for Sagittarius into a future. There's the Ten of uh, Wands again that you, again, told you it's a mirroring thing. Could be a Sag, Sag connection too. All right, Ten of, ten of Swords, walking away. Ten, Ten. Oh, yeah, we got Two, Two as a connection and Ten, Ten as a connection. Synchronicities and numerologies could mean something. 703. All right, let's see where we got for Sagittarius for potential future outcome. Just pull a couple cards, pull a couple clarifiers, and take it where it goes. 
Appreciate you, Sag. All right, see you on Monday nights, and I'll see you in Hamburg, New York, on April 1st and April 2nd. Details to come. It's my live meet and greet. I'm going to be there in person. All right, let's go, Sag. Let's do it for you and your person. And one on your mind. There's our first card. Four of Pentacles. Whoop, hold it. You're protected. And with this chariot energy, that's like a crowbar to kit from Knight Rider's T-Top. The bad guys can't get into that. You've got a molecular bonded shell, much like that card did, that nobody can penetrate. You're just inside, chilling out, watching Netflix on Kit's monitor with the air conditioning on, the windows are tinted. Bad guys are outside chucking bricks at it, and they're bouncing back into their heads. They're putting crowbars in the T-Tops, and they're bending the crowbars, and there's no bueno, not getting in. Spirit says this is a divine union. You guys are protected. Four of Pentacles, your career, your money, the love, all of it. Uh, once you come together into this union, Aquarius energy with the star, the guiding light and divine union will bring you guys together and guide you that way. This is the energy of an end-all, be-all. You guys see each other in a way. Three of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. A stable forward momentum. You got the Three of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles. This is all Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like Minor Arcana, Minor Arcana, font out of this, like a father figure, Torian energy. You know, the one you go to for the comfort, for the support, for the answers. This is something that Three of Pentacles style, Spirit is working with you, and I told you, you guys are protected for a Ten of Pentacles. And back when we pulled the Pentacles in the beginning, I, and I mentioned how the Knight of Pentacles brings in that Ace of Pentacles that creates Ten of Pentacles long-term thing that goes 10 plus years. It's your outcome, Sagittarius. I already saw this coming. And I just got chills all over from this. Definitely a connection to that. You guys are stars to each other, guiding lights to each other with this Aquarius energy underneath it that it's like an end-all be-all to the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Told you with a pair and a passion, Ace of Wands. Sag pulled a little boom-boom stick. So like I mentioned, when the times are good, they are extremely good. You guys have a connection that you both quite enjoy. And with those two Queens energies coming out right there, this shows that you guys underneath this energy are leveling up to the same level so that when they come out, come forward, it's time to reach out. The one that begins it finds the answers and going right from there. Five of Pentacles. This shows this energetical ride that with that Capricorn energy that comes into it as well, Anna, this, that <clears throat> you guys learn to work together and ride the highs with the energetic lows. There isn't that energy no more of this Ten of Pentacles or the reverse of that Ten of Pentacles of worrying about what you say, what can be done. You guys actually start to communicate when one of you says, well, I'm not sure I like about how this goes because it makes me feel this way. And then the other person's like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, what if we do this or how can we work to come together so we both have a good. It's like a great meeting of the minds is 10 of Pentacles to a three of Pentacles and spirit is working with you because you're protected into this. Give me clarifiers on it because it seems like a few times there's the star right there. Double star, twinning, mirroring connection going on. Aquarius energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn to this five of Pentacles being in the worry that it's something that may not be too good to be true as it could be is. And kind of feeling like, well, I'm worried, Archer, because, yeah, I mean, if it is, what if people don't change? And it's like, well, no. Like if you think back to when it was new and positive and good, when you start worrying about that, what if people don't change? You use that Three of Pentacles energy to come back to that Ten of Pentacles when it was new, when it was good. And you realize that that's what's still there. And you realize maybe people don't change. Knight of Cups, they change back, Cancerian energy. They change back to the happiness, four of wands, double fours. You've got a lot of synchronicities and a lot of mirroring showing you both leveling up and coming into this. This Saturn moving to Pisces, dreaming about that future and getting all your wishes granted and divine protection, Sagittarius. You're both protected. Four of wands, three of pentacles to the eight of wands. Sagittarius communication showing that you guys work together to the frickin' Hierophant on the ten of pentacles. I just doubled up on this. I was just talking about like the Hierophant, Taurus energy and a father figure. There's a Taurus that you look to, you trust, and that is what you want manifested in on whomever it is. That ability to feel safe, your rock, your support, the wish to feel comfortable. Literally everything we've been talking about coming out forward on this. You guys can communicate together, balanced, and, and, and you just, you feel happy, you feel great, and you enjoy the energy through it. You guys work through issues with communication, something that you've always asked for and always wanted. Four and five of pentacles, knowing that the time is right. And these two fives, we actually have five of pentacles onto the five of pentacles. When that happens in a reading, that's telling me, hey, Archer, there is no more we can say about this. You got it right the first time around. It would just be redundant if we did it again. And this actually equals out to ten pentacles. So it shows that you guys work to communicate together. And these people here, when they know the time is right, they know to get in the lifeboat when they're told to. They don't so they don't stay on the ship and worry about it. You guys find this balance to make the right decisions and work together on it in the Four of Pentacles. So you've got the three fours showing up and another sink. So your outcome is 
a pair of four pentacles and a pair of five pentacles. If you are a betting person or a gambler or you enjoy casinos, you all need to go because right now that Jupiter luck with uh, the Taurus and the Jupiter conjunct going on, that is the stream of energy to bring you guys together and uh, win big with that Saturn and Capricorn influence that's in Pisces. That This here is literally like what's going on right now as they come together. This is, this is like Taurus, right? This is Venus, Taurus, this planet, sitting there going, come on, Sag, come on, Jupiter. It's okay. It's going to be great. This time's going to be working out. It's going to be fine. Sagittarius is sitting there going, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm a little nervous. Are you totally sure? And then Pisces is sitting back right now in that Cappy energy going, if y'all don't hurry up and make a decision, I'm about to lose my shit right now. And you're starting to get more from your dreams in that sense. And you use your dreams to tune in and get this way and to synchronize up. What you guys went through in the past triggered a massive awakening in the both of you that you had to go apart and come back to get to this point. And when the communication starts, it will be everything Ace of Wands that you have dreamt of. I love it, Sag. All right. So with all this awesome sauce outcome in mind, oh my God, you're right underneath that Knight of Cups and the Death card, that beginning and a new influence to a Nine of Pentacles. You're right there with this. Could be a Cancer Sag thing going on or the balance and the stability for this love offer to come in correct and to start a new cycle told you it's a past person that you guys get it down, get it done right this time, and you are divinely protected with that death card. This is actually death looking down at the Titanic iceberg going, yeah, I did that. Because out of this death card, this horrible tower moment that affected both of your guys' lives, Sagittarius, that changed the both of your directions forever, it was a cycle that had to happen. Because yeah, the sinking of the Titanic was as horrific as COVID. COVID was a moment that you had a lot of COVID relationship casualties. The world stopped on its axis and changed. The entire direction changed. Energetically, it's happening right now with the Saturn and the Pluto influences. But all that had to happen to bring in this new thing because after the sinking of the Titanic, you had an international ice patrol to monitor the shipping lanes. You had requirements that there had to be enough lifeboats on the ships for all the people on board, not just the size of the ship to meet the requirements. There were massive changes that still to this day live on. And this is that generational wealth coming in for you that when you guys do come back together, Nine of Pentacles, that you have the, the, the long-term wealth, Ten of Pentacles, to go 10 plus years and into the next lifetime, Magician at the bottom for this. So let's see what you've manifested, Gemini lovers. So there's some Gemini and Virgo on this for the new moon in Aries. What is your manifestation, Sagittarius? I live and appreciate you very, very much. All right, let's see where we're going. Here we go, Sagittarius. New moon in Aries. Here we go. Three cards, three quickie clarifiers for what you have manifested. Love you guys. Let's do it. Okay, we're just, well, I'm, just, I'm out of room. I'm out of table room. Okay, good enough. Two, ten of wands. Another completion. You've manifested completion, passing the tests, and going forward. This is your own energy. You're embracing this new moon energy. I freaking love it. With the hermit, another synchronization from your past, focusing on yourself. Your first house placement is right there with that hermit energy. Then we've got the moon. Another bit from your past told you this is somebody that you're manifesting back in. You guys have both been manifesting this on the sly with this moon and this hermit card. Trying to play it off like y'all don't care. Don't think about nobody. But you got the moon and the hermit. You got more secrets here than Carter's got liver pills. That's all I'm saying about this one. And you're manifesting in the four of pentacles. We've seen that four. Dude, dude, go to a casino. Call your person. Get back together. Cross watch. Call Sag. Get it on. Go to a casino. Win big. Okay? Because you got four pentacles, you're manifesting the protection I told you is in your future outcome. I love when that stuff happens. And this moon and hermit shows this is a connection. Same church, different pew, right person, right time. You both have been quietly manifesting this, and it is coming to fruition. Happy freaking New Year, Sagittarius. <whistles> love it. Sag, I appreciate you very much for being here for this one with me. Love that like, share, comment, subscribe. Help me keep it growing. Be a part of me, a familia. I love you. And come and hang out with me, J-Dub and the Mod Squad, Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for a live all signs, Aries to Pisces, one on your mind, plus a card for each sign, with two bonus readings as we check in on the Twin Flame and the Soulmate Journeys. That's right, 14 here at Archer. And if you are going to be in Hamburg, New York, April 1st and April 2nd, that's only a week away if you're watching this right now, come and join me at Flickr Gifts, Crystals, and Inspirationals shop on Buffalo Street in Hamburg, New York. I will be there for a live all signs, a meet and greet. We're giving away tarot decks. They're having a big open house. There's sales, there's food. You can follow everything in my community post or on their Instagram at Flickr Gifts to uh, book a reading with me. I got a QR code. I got a freaking QR code. I'm so geeked. We have got so many freaking plans. Come and hang out this coming Monday um, at my live all signs because we're going to let you know everything that's going on and it's going to be a blast. I hope you come, Satch. I hope you'll be there. All right. Love you very much. Like, share, comment, subscribe, etc. and so forth. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you may free will choose to do so to a wand style. 
by emailing me at archerastrology at gmail.com and we shall hook up, connect, and take it from there, Sagittarius. So remember, this will resonate to any and all Sagittarius placements in your chart. We are FHA compliant here at Archer Astrology. We will read for any sign or placement which desires a reading and inquires and qualifies. But y'all qualify because I love y'all. All right, make it a great one, Sag. Until next time, Archer out. Yeah, chariot.